Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video we will master strings without even playing the guitar. So let us take a look at the min function in Python first. Let's see this example tuple here. So we have elements 2, 4 and 5 here. If we are taking the min, so the minimum of this tuple here, we are getting a 2. Right, so we are just getting the smallest element here, right? So if I'm changing this to a 3, it still would be 3. And uh, if I'm changing this here to 6, the lowest element would be 4. So pretty easy function, right? Now let us apply this minimum function to a tuple containing of string elements, which we have here. So A, B and C. And see what happens. Well, we are getting an A. And you could argue now, well, totally makes sense because A is the first letter in the alphabet. Why should I get another word you hear? Well, let me crush your argumentation by changing this lowercase b here to a capital B. Now taking the minimum now, we are getting the capital B. So what is happening here? Well, Python works with the ASCII value of string characters. So every single letter or symbol is assigned to a certain ASCII value, which is a numerical value. Okay. Python has a built-in function ORD, which is returning this ASCII value. So let's check it out. Let's take the ORD of a lowercase a, which gives us 97. And let's take the ORD of the capital B, which gives us the 66. And that is why we are getting the lowest value of B here. If it was as before, if we would take the B here, the lowercase b, we would get 98. So A would be the smallest value. Okay, so pretty important, or a D function. What if we have more than one character? So we have a tuple like this, A, 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 B, and Z. Well, let's check out what's the minimum of this tuple here. Well, we are getting A, A. Now, it's getting difficult because you could th think, well, okay, I'm just providing the AA here in the ORD function. Doesn't work. Because the ORD function only works with a single symbol, a single letter. Okay? Now, we are programmers. We could work around this. So, let us define a function to understand what actually is happening here. And we are defining a function which we are calling ASCII which is taken more than one argument as here. How can we do so? Well, let's define ASCII and then we are taking a string as an argument and this function is returning us a list of the ORD of an element in this string for each element in this string, as I said. So, how does it work? Well, it iterates over each single letter and provides us the ASCII value for that. Okay? So, let's check that for, for example, let's check that for AA. What do we got? Well, we are getting 2 times the 97. And we could also check that for this one here, AB. And we're getting 97 and 98. And this one is actually bigger than this one, right? And now finally we could check it for the Z. And this is even larger than those two. This one here. And that is why AA is the minimum here. Let's make this even more clear by changing a single thing. So let us change the B here to a capital B. So take the minimum again. And now we are getting A, capital B. What's happening? Well, let's change that and see what happens. Now we are getting this here, 97 and 66. And this one is actually smaller than this one here. And of course, than this one. And this is why we are getting an A, capital B here. I hope this video helped you in understanding strings even better in Python. And if you have any questions, if anything is unclear, feel free to drop me a comment. I'm really looking forward to interact with you. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.